Friday night on BBC4, you, the great British public, uh, will be given the responsibility of choosing a song that hopefully will win this year's Eurovision Song Contest for the UK. Hopefully all the performers are sorry. <laughs> 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 performances can take some inspiration from our first winner. Can you say who that is? Go on, just say, oh, do the name. Sandy Shaw, yeah. back in 1967. <laughs> yes, she sorry. went from humble beginnings to national <laughs> hero. Oh, gosh. We got right. there in the end. <laughs> I wonder if one day that you say that you care If you say you love me madly, I'd gladly be there Like a puppet on a string That's not my house. Oh, wow. Oh, on the front bit. My mum would have loved that. She always wanted a porch. It's been 50 years since I've been in this place and it's a bit kind of nerve-wracking and my stomach's turning a bit. So, oh, here's the front room. Oh, yes, cosy. Nice and warm. Moving into this house was a big deal for my parents. They'd saved up for so long to buy it. My dad had been working as a welder and my mum always worked in an office. The gramophone was here and I used to sit here every Sunday afternoon listening to Pick of Pops with Alan Freeman. You know pop pickers, while the groups are having it all the way. The guy next door used to wear leathers and have a motorbike on. Oh yes, he's much older than me and he's had big blue eyes and slicked back and he used to let me go in and listen to his rock and roll records people like Gene Vincent so this is the room where I went on strike I decided when I was sort of like early teens to put away all girly things I painted everything white there was no pink things at all nothing frilly that's what really started me into thinking ah oh, I think girls can do something a bit different. Um, why, are, why are we being limited? Why are there only boy bands? Why aren't there any girls singing? So this like germ of an idea started happening and used to ask, when we went out to dance halls, ask the bands if I could come up and sing with them. And that's where I sort of trained. So this is my wonderful old school Robert Clack. This is my maths class, I'm going to go in there now. Hello. Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> yes. Now, I remember you really well, and I wonder whether you remember my class. You were in class 3D. Um, I could describe them as the most difficult for me in the 33 years I, I was Robert Clack. There was rioting <laughs> from time to time. The other teachers I remember really well were Mr Jones, because without him, I couldn't have started recording in French. I was amazed when I realised that you re did record in various languages. Yeah. It's all thanks to Robert Clark, yeah. my school. On se retrouve tous les soirs On est heureux de se voir Et moi je me dis toujours Pour vous, pour vous, que ça dure oh. This was the iconic Ilford Pally. One time there was a talent contest on here, but only came second. However, there was a guy there who said, my uncle's in show business. I'd like you to go up to London to meet him. My mum and dad didn't know it until I suddenly announced that I'd been discovered. They're totally and utterly shocked at our Sandra. The streets are crowded and it's just as always in this part of the town. All that time, one of my big things was that I sang barefoot. It was because I knew where I came from. And it was a reminder of the sort of rags to riches Cinderella story. I don't think essentially I, I've actually changed that much. I'm still really coming from the same place and singing from the same hymn book. That's what I've learned from this journey. We 
just love that music, don't we? Just love we do, music. don't we? And we will be live with Mel Gadroch at the big Eurovision You Decide show this Friday mm. when the public will have a say in our entry for the first time, can you believe this, in six years? Yeah, now we have moved uh, here. This is, this is the big